Hello, my name is Francis and I'm with Winning Solutions Incorporated and I'm here with a free Microsoft Access uh, tutorial for our football equipment tracking database template. Uh, so let's just go ahead and jump right into that. Uh, as you can see, we've got a few options here and I'm going to walk you through what they do. Uh, I'm going to start by clicking on the personnel tab and adding new personnel because I want to add a player and a coach to this so that we can uh, show you how all the fields populate and how you loan equipment out. So I'm just going to put some dummy information in here. I'm going to say that he's the coach. He coaches the examples. Most people just have mobile phones now, so I'm going to fill that in there with, a, again, a dummy phone number just to see how the fields populate. Okay, example address, example city, okay, okay, still put it in USA, why not, and let's go ahead and give this guy a fake email as well, okay, so now that we have him done, we're just going to hit save and new here, and it's going to bring up another blank form, and we're going to add a player, who we're going to name John Smith, He's going to be younger than the last person I put in. So we'll say he was born in 05. Okay. And we're going to make him a player. Again, for the examples. And just like with before, I'm going to dummy up a quick phone number. Okay. Okay, so now that we've got our player and our coach entered, we're just going to click close. We're going to close this tab out and reopen it to make sure it refreshes. And we're going to check and see if our people are here. And they are, which is great. So close this out. Now we're going to add some equipment. First thing I'm going to add is shoulder pads. Okay, you see the categories here. Right now they're just generic categories. I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, I don't know who uh, manufactures football gear. We'll say they're medium, brand new. These are going to be brand new shoulder pads. We're going to put them at location one, and we're going to fill in just a little information here. Again, just so we can see how everything populates. We'll say they've been worn, so they've depreciated a little. Okay, we're going to put them in great condition. And we're going to save and new. Now let's add something else. I'm thinking a tackling sled. We're going to call it a category two. Uh, and we're just going to fill out these fields. And again, if you're using this, you'll have actual... Uh, categories and you'll know the manufacturers and the model numbers and all that but for now we're just trying to show how the database works together okay uh, we're gonna say that's large this one's gonna be older we'll say that it's from 2015 it's at location 2 and it was acquired earlier this month Okay, it's in good condition. We'll say they paid $250 for it. That they currently estimate its value at $225. It's in good condition. All that's fine. So now I'm going to close this. And just like before, I'm going to close out. And I'm going to come back to the equipment tab. And then I'm going to see if they're there. Okay, and they both are. That's great. Okay, so now that we know that our... Uh, coach and our player and our equipment all pop up when we search for them. We're going to go to the shoulder pads. So we're going to hit check out. And we're going to check those out to John Smith. 
Okay, and the tackling sled we are going to check out to John Doe. Excellent. So now the coach and the player both have gear checked out to them. So let's run back over to the personnel tab. Let's search for our people. Let's click here. And we can see that it records a record on the individual entry for the person that shows what they have checked out. Okay, so now that we've shown you that, let's go back to the main menu and let's look at maintain lists here. This is where you can change uh, some of the information that we have automatically put in for you to click. So like category, for example, you could call, you know, you come in, you could say, this is protective equipment, like shoulder pads. Uh, you could say this is field equipment, and this is weight room equipment. I missed a P there, no big deal, can fix that. Okay, so you can change those. Condition, we've already got a good uh, run of terms here for condition, but you can change them if you want to. You know, location, you can say uh, high school, junior high school, and field house. These are just examples. You can change them whatever you want, but that's how that works. And then if you want more positions like manager or uh, anything like that, you can add them here. So let's close that and let's pull up the reports tab now. So this has all equipment, and I'll just show you. We can open a report, and you'll see that we have both of these items and who they're checked out to. Okay. Uh, equipment by borrower. And it'll list borrower first. Uh, so you've got a lot of options here for things you can look up, different ways to look into your gear. Uh, but that is this template in a nutshell. You can add coaches and players. You can add any kind of equipment you want to. You can assign them. You can check them out to people. You can apply due dates. You can track by if something's overdue, as you see here, or if something's damaged. You can see what the most popular equipment is. You've got a lot of options. So that's how you can use this uh, easy to use tool to simplify the process of tracking and maintaining your inventory for any football team. Uh, I've been Francis with WSI, and I hope you found this video to be informative and entertaining, and I hope you have a good day.